Well, more and more downtown and midtown Mobile residents say their outdoor furniture has suddenly disappeared. Chairs, pillows, anything left outside vanishes. Local 15's Christian Jennings is live in the Oakley Garden District tonight. Uh, Christian, this really hits home for you. You too have had some of your stuff ripped off. That's right, Greg. Unfortunately, I actually had a few weeks ago two rocking chairs stolen and I had it was a pot a little bit bigger than this full of dirt and fresh herbs that was also stolen from my front porch. It was the same day I got it, actually. So I guess the person that stole it liked to do a lot of cooking. I don't know. But anyway, it seems like people are snatching anything they can find off of people's porches. This porch I'm standing on is actually one of the porches that was hit in this rash of burglaries. And as you can see, it's basically empty. Yes, it's come to this. And it makes you mad. Folks forced to chain down their outdoor furniture in an effort to prevent thieves from taking what's theirs. And it's happening at odd times. You would think in the middle of the night from like, I don't know, 10 to midnight, but ours happened like 5.30 in the afternoon. From Midtown to the Oakley Garden District and other areas of downtown, homeowners are reporting petty thefts. We're told the two hot items are rocking chairs and potted plants. Rocking chairs, I, I don't know. Would pawn shops really buy rocking chairs? And then potted plants, what do you, you, you can't sell that. So it, it makes me think now that they're doing it just to do it. Filder Lewis lives on Lafayette Street. He says several homes on his block have been hit, including his. I leave to go get something from the store and realize our rocking chairs on the front porch are gone. This map tells it all. It's from the website streetscan.org. The green flags represent thefts reported in just the past two months. It made me mad at first, and then I realized it could, could be something so much worse. Suzanne Cleveland lives on Church Street. She, too, had her chair stolen a few weeks ago. They just took the two chairs. They were old, big wooden chairs with very high backs. But thanks to kind neighbors, she can once again enjoy a beautiful day on her front porch. They nicely brought that to me, so now I have a chair. I'm glad she does once again. Now, there have been no arrests made in any of these cases, police tell me. So in response to all of this, I'm told by neighbors that people are doing everything from installing security cameras, putting more lights on their porches, and even purchasing guns. Reporting live in the Oakley Garden District of Mobile tonight, I'm Christian Jennings, Local 15 News.